Some NYCHA residents in Queens say they'll be left in the cold. They say the heat and hot water at the Woodside houses have been regularly out of order since Hurricane Ida caused flooding last year. But the city says it has spent close to a million and a half dollars on repairs. So what is happening, Nate? Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan live in Woodside with the story. Jim? Well, Sandra, it's only been chilly for a few nights, but folks here in the Woodside houses are looking at another winter of extra blankets and really cold showers. Last year, a storm took out the boiler system uh, in these houses, and 13 months later, the new system still isn't in place, and the temporary system is on its last legs. The temporary boilers at the Woodside houses creak and sputter. <laughs> and sound sometimes like they're ready to give up altogether. What they don't do is provide for the people here. What we're here today for is our basic human need. This is unacceptable. So I want to ask you all, did you have heat and hot water yesterday? Yeah. No. Yeah. No heat and no hot water, which these residents all pay for as part of their rent in this NYCHA complex. And it's been this way off and on since a storm flooded the power plant here 13 months ago. It was supposed to be fixed in April. Residents say it's still not working. When it's cold, it is cold. We have no barriers between the bricks and our walls. So when